Uh, g'day guys, we've got an algebra question today, specifically simultaneous equations, where we've been asked to find the quadratic function in standard form that passes through these three points. Now what we're going to do today, guys, is we're going to substitute these three coordinates into the quadratic function, and we're going to get three linearly independent equations. We're going to then use the substitution method to simultaneously solve for variables a, b, and c, and hopefully producing a quadratic function in standard form. So let's get to it. Okay, so let's start by substituting each of these coordinate points into the function y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So what we'll do is we'll start with the first point, negative 2, 7, and we get 7 is equal to a times negative 2 squared plus b times negative 2 plus c. So we find from this, guys, if we multiply out our brackets, we get 7 is equal to 4a minus 2b plus c. So let's go on to the next one. We're going to have 3 is equal to a times negative 1 squared plus b times negative 1 plus c, which again, if we multiply out our brackets, we get 3 is equal to a minus b plus c. And the third coordinate point, we're going to have 7 is equal to a times 3 squared plus b times 3 plus c, which again, if we multiply it out, we get 7 is equal to 9a plus 3b plus c. Great. The first thing we're going to do when we attempt to simultaneously solve this using the substitution method is we're going to try and isolate one of the variables on one side of the equality. So I'm going to start with equation 1 and I'm going to isolate c on the right hand side. So let's go about doing that. So I'm going to move the 4a and the 2b to the left and I get c is equal to 7 minus 4a plus 2b. Great. Okay, so now we've isolated the variable c, what we're going to do is we're going to substitute that into another one of the linear equations, hence the substitution method. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute this rearranged version of equation 1 into equation 2. So I'm just going to write that down. And the way that's going to look is we're going to have 3 is equal to a subtract b plus, and rather than writing c, I substitute in my equation 1, which is 7 minus 4a plus 2b. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to combine my like terms. So I've got a take 4a is negative 3a, and I've got b, negative b, sorry, plus 2b, so that's going to be positive 1b. So to start with, I'm going to have 3 is equal to b minus 3a, and we've got here this plus 7. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange this, guys, by taking the 3a and the b to the left, and I'm going to take the 3 to the right. So I'm going to have 3a subtract b is equal to 7 take 3 is 4. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to isolate another term in this equation so I can then substitute this into equation 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate the term b, and what I get is I'm going to get b is equal to 3a subtract 4. Cool. Okay, from here, guys, I'm going to substitute this equation we've just found into this one and into this one. So what we're going to get when we substitute this into the first equation we pointed to is c is equal to 7 minus 4a plus 2. And instead of writing b, we're going to write 3a minus 4. So this, guys, is going to give us 7 minus 4a plus... 6a minus 8, and once we've combined our like terms, we've got negative 4a plus 6a is 2a. 7 take 8 is minus 1. Cool. We're also going to substitute this into this formula here, where we've got 7 is equal to 9a plus 3, and instead of writing b, we write 3a minus 4 plus c. So we're going to multiply out that bracket, and we end up with 7 is equal to 18a minus 12 plus c. We're going to take the 12 over to the other side. 7 plus 12 is equal to 19, equals 18a plus c. And we know, guys, that c is equal to 2a minus 1. 
So we can then substitute C into this as well. So what I'm going to do is if we excuse my arrows, the equation I've got C for, I'm going to substitute, hence the substitution method, into here. And from there, guys, I'm going to just, let's just move this up to the top. I'm going to have 19 is equal to 18A plus C, which is equal to 2A minus 1. We can combine our like terms and move the 1 over to the side. 19 plus 1 is 20 is equal to 20A. So therefore, we divide both sides by 20, and we're left with A equals 1. What we can then do, guys, is we have a, an equation which gives us B in terms of A here. So we're going to substitute our 1 into here, because we have B is equal to 3 times A, which we've found out is equal to 1, minus 4. So B, guys, is going to be equal to 3 take 4 is minus 1. Okay, now we have an equation in terms of C right at the top here. C is equal to 7 minus 4A plus 2B. So what we're going to do, let's change colour again. And we've got C is equal to 7 minus 4 times A, which is 1, plus 2 times B, which is negative 1. So C is equal to 7 take 4 is 3, take 2 is 1. So we have A equals 1, B equals negative 1, and C equals positive 1. And we'll, once we've put that into our standard form, guys, we're going to have a quadratic equation which looks like this. Y equals A is 1, so we don't have to put it in. X squared, B is negative 1, so we minus X, and C is 1, plus 1. And this, guys, is going to go through the points negative 2, 7, negative 1, 3, and 3, 7.